Greetings and welcome to the Monday Morning Vodcast podcast. This is my blood you drink. This is my body you eat. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there. How are you doing? How was your weekend? I hope it was motherfucking fantastic for all of you. I had an okay weekend. Uh, the weather was splendid. Got a bunch of yard work done. I feel like I actually accomplished something this weekend rather than, you know, grinding out the day-to-day -day bullshit. Not that it's bullshit, but, you know, it's shit that's got to get done. And it sometimes puts the other stuff that you want to get done, you know, onto the back burner. And my time is very limited on this earth, as is yours. So you should encapture every moment, sit on it, stare at it in the face, and say, hey, I love you. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, life passes you by. I don't know what I want to talk about this morning. Let's just let's just get this part over with. I found these at the store the other day. The Doritos Roulette. They were first released, I believe, in about 2005, 2015, and have not seen the light of day in the last six years. So I am being informed through my earpiece and those in the office that reside several floors above me. So, uh, let's try them out. I guess there's some hot ones. Maybe hot, maybe not. I cannot begin to imagine that Doritos puts out something <laughs> that's going to compete with anything that I've eaten yet. Not to say that they're not going to be hot for the, uh, the lay folk, but for me, who's a well-versed ninja in the arts of deceptively consuming extremely hot food items... <laughs> I don't think they're going to be that hot. I've had the ghost pepper chips from Pocky, and those those are hot, but they're delicious too. So you get through about four or five, you got to take a little bit of a break because it starts, you know, doing its thing in your throat. We all know about that now, don't we? If you're wondering, I mean, there's no coloration difference that I can tell immediately to these chips. I also don't have my glasses on. So if there is any color variation, it's going to be very difficult for me to tell chip. Like, yeah, I'm doing that too. Uh, I don't mean to act rude, nose full of blunt saying cleaning up my act soon. Uh. It's a fun little transition. I can't do those fun, like, chest bump transitions here because it's a steady camera. I am going to assume this is just a normal nacho cheese Dorito chip, something I normally would not eat in the morning anyway. That was a delicious nacho cheese Dorito chip. Let's try another one. I'm sure this isn't actually how you're supposed to play this. I guess maybe it is. It's, there's some kind of a challenge involved in it, but I don't really give a fuck about the challenge aspect of it. Now, I will say something about that last one. This one definitely seems to have more stuff on it. The original release, if I'm not mistaken, had like three or four or five different chips in it. One of them was extremely hot. The other four were just different chips. I, I don't know all the details. I honestly don't give a fuck about it. It's Doritos. It's not a fucking Oreo. Chip number two is in the bag. That was spicy. I can still feel the spiciness in my mouth, but it's not like, it's not like it was life altering or shattering. If that's the spiciest that is in the bag, I'm not impressed at all. Like that tastes like a regular spicy nacho cheese Dorito. We'll try two more. If my mouth isn't burning by the end of this, then you have failed. Who the hell makes Doritos? Is that Nabisco too? Frito-Lay. Bullshit. After eating several of the roulette Doritos, I'm going to assume that that spicy one I came across was the spicy one. Now, now your average family goes out to the grocery store, goes down the chip aisle, and they go, Honey, what do you think the kids would like today? And the kid's like, oh, let's get Doritos. And, and the, the little kid's like, no, I want to get fucking Funyuns because Doritos are stupid. 
Finally, the parents come across this section and like, of new products. And they're like, whoa, roulette Doritos. And they bring it home. And then Sally takes a bite of one of the spicy ones. And she goes, oh, my God, it's so hot in my mouth. And, and that's how their night goes. And, and they laugh. And then they watch Full House. Just the smallest of updates on Let's Get Racist. I have not heard back from anyone who I've sent a letter to or left a voicemail for. You know, it's never bothered me my whole life not knowing all of this, so why I need to know it now, I don't know. It's just discouraging. Life is discouraging. So this week, I believe I'm only going to be delivering the vodcast podcast. I am scrapping all production of all other shows that I've been working on at the moment. Um, I will get back to them eventually, but I need to, I need to rein it in for a week. Um, I've been producing videos at a much more rapid pace than I have in the past, and I need to rethink everything I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to shift my focus to this for the time being and uh, high from space, and we'll see where the rest of this goes. I don't know. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to make somebody smile today, and uh you guys take care of each other out there. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, everybody. Boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs>